up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com from Emilio. TigerFitness.com once again, $5.99 flat rate. Shipping across the continental US. Hey Mark, I've been on a deficit for almost 16 weeks now and I've been carb cycling. Question is, how would you go back to maintenance from carb cycling on really low or almost no carbs? If you go to my book, MassDiet.com, M-A-S-S-Diet.com, it shows you how to kind of build that in. Essentially, first of all, get off carb cycling. And I'm not. A, I, I'm gonna state for the record, I don't like carb cycling. I'm a linear dieter because I just don't like the low days. I don't like the medium, I don't like the high. I think if after seven days your calories are equal, carb cycling does nothing for you. And I, I just, I think it's easier to prep for lifestyle if you know every day you're eating a certain thing. I don't like the low, mid, high. I just don't fucking like it. I know a lot of people do, but don't hate me. It's just my opinion. Again, it works, but it's just not my choice, okay? So I'm gonna answer it from what my beliefs are based on my you know, 20 years of experience as well as based on my education, what I've taken through my EXO certification, all that good stuff. Um, how I'd go back to maintenance is what I would do, honestly, uh, Emilio, I would set your low day. So let's say your low day is 200 grams of protein, uh, 20 grams of carbs, and uh, uh, 50 grams of fat. Go stay at that till you maintain or start losing. So if you're at 150 pounds, let's say you stay there for like four days. Bump the carbs up 40 grams. So go from 20 to 60 grams of carbs. As long as you gain 0.5 to 1 pound a week, don't touch it. Don't touch that bitch. Once you stay the same for a week, raise it another 60 grams of carbs. Okay? So that's about 250 calories. And keep doing that until, well, until you're where you want to be. Just make sure in the off season, let's say you start at 8% body fat, aim to gain 0.5 to 1 pound a week or an average of 2 pounds a month. Once you have established that, do not allow yourself to go over 12 to 15% body fat. So essentially you can lean bulk for a long time, 2 pounds a month ain't shit. But I'll tell you what, controlling your bulk will be harder than cutting because you have to practice restraint in a caloric surplus and that's a bitch. All right, I hope, I hope that this helps you. And if you need anything at all, let me know. But this is my best way of doing it. Start at the lowest and go back up and get to linear dieting. I'm Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Because not liking carb cycling, yet answering questions on it anyway, it's not a game.